Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Quilly and today I am presenting to you this little half cut crease. I'm in love with this eye combo. So basically what I did is I did a very like orange, very warm toned crease and then I cut it and I did like a little bit of tea which matches my nails. And yes, I did that on purpose. It looks so good and it looks so blended. I absolutely love it so much. But the thing that I love the most about it is it looks so intense. And um, yeah, by the way, if you're ever asking yourself how the hell does she achieve such intense eyeshadow, it's um, when I don't set my eyelid primer, my eyeshadow is just like way more intense. And that's how it is. That's how it works. So, you know, that's... That's, that's basically it but um yeah if you guys want to know how to recreate this eye look and this overall makeup look just keep on watching to start out my look i'm going to take my morphe 35 palette and i'm going to take the burnt not the burnt the pumpkin orange from the palette and i'm going to pack it right onto my base which is the maybelline age rewind concealer um not my super stay my usual one but yeah now from the 35b i'm going to take this lighter orange shade just to really blend out all of the edges of my eyeshadow because you want it to be very blended yet very orange crease you know Taking my ABH Modern Renaissance palette, I'm gonna take the shade Realgar or Realgar. I don't know what it's like how to say it, but yeah, I'm just gonna put that uh, in my crease because it's also an orange shade, but it's gonna offer me a little bit of depth, so it's just gonna make the eye look look more um, gradient and blended. To deepen up the crease furthermore, I'm gonna take I'm gonna go back to my 35O palette and take this very dark burgundy brown. I don't really know how to describe it, but I'm just packing it with this very small like Anastasia brush, and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. As the final deep shade, I'm gonna take this very dark brown, it's not cool tone, but it's maybe neutral tone. And again with that ABH brush, I'm gonna really put it really deep into my crease because i don't want this to be diffused up uh, i really just want it to stay tight into my crease so it adds depth where i need it i'm gonna cut my crease with this little concealer the maybelline super stay better skin concealer in the shade light and i'm just gonna create a half cut crease type of shape and just fill it in with some concealer i'm gonna take the teal shade in the 35b palette and i'm gonna pack it on the outer corner of the cut crease which means I'm gonna use this matte shade to really be a great transition between the sh shimmery teal I'm gonna put in the inner corner as well as the dark browns I put on my outer corner. For my lid shade, I'll be taking the NYX Prismatic Shadow in the shade Mermaid and I'm just gonna pack it all over my inner corner. I did not wet this brush like whatsoever, but because my concealer, I didn't set the cut part, it's uh, really gonna stick to the concealer. It's gonna be super bright, vibrant, reflective, and just beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I will be right back. Okay, so for primer, we're going to take the Maybelline Master Prime Primer in the shade Blur Plus Smooth. I applied it with a brush. My skin has been a little dry lately, so you know I have to do that to counteract with all the dry spots on my face. But yeah, this primer is absolutely beautiful. It's a tiny bit tacky and it's very moisturizing. For foundation, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Coverage Illuminating Foundation. I don't really know what it's called, but um, mine is in the shade Tan. I'm just going to apply it all over my face. This was a little dark, I ain't going to lie, but you don't really see it on camera. So, you know, it's none of my business really, huh? -huh. I love this LA Girl Concealer, it's so good and they have so many shades so um, whatever shade you are you probably will find a concealer to match you. Anyways, I'm going to use that under my eyes all over my face and then I'm going to blend it out 
and just to you know it offers like great coverage it has a great undertone and it's really really cheap and expensive so you know we really we like a bargain we love a bargain so um yeah i'm just gonna blend this out and then i'm gonna proceed to set it with my nyc smooth skin loose face powder Well, this is the powder that I always use to um, set my whole entire face after doing the translucent one. So this is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Face Powder in the shade 50 Natural Beige. I'm just going to put it all over my face. I really like this powder. It's great. So yeah. For highlight, I'm going to be taking my Becca Opal Highlighter. And just I'm just going to, you know, just give you a little bit of... Whew, highlight oh it looks so good i love it so much i'm also gonna really quickly go ahead and just do my bottom lash line using the same shades i use into my crease like it's really not that deep to rosy up my little cheeks i'll be taking the nyx hd blush in the shade summer and i'm gonna apply it really precisely with this brush and then just blend it out with my powder face brush yeah <laughs> For lips, I'm just going to take my Maybelline Color Elixir Gloss in the shade Nude Illusion. I'm going to put it all over my lips. Super easy nude gloss. I want it to go with a very nude lip since the eyes are so bold. And um, yeah, that's basically the end result. this is it you guys i hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and if you did don't forget to give it a little bit of a thumbs up also don't forget to comment down below other video suggestions or things you'd like to see me do i'd be very willing to do them if they relate to anything that i'm capable of doing i would absolutely love for you guys to give me suggestions so i can have ideas of videos to a film you know what i'm saying of course you do I know you do. If you guys like me, my personality, or the content I put up on YouTube, then feel totally free to subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love for you to join us. We're pretty close to 100 subscribers, okay? We probably have about 40, I believe 40 subscribers to have yet before we hit 100. So you guys, we can do it. Let's do it by my birthday. My birthday is the 30th of March almost at the end so um let's hit 100 subscribers by then that would be absolutely awesome and it would mean the world to me so yeah just subscribe also while you're down there you might also want to click on the bell button to be notified every single time i upload because you do not want to miss that because sometimes you know i might upload and you're a little like you didn't know i was gonna upload and then i upload and you get the notification and you're like thank god i have my notifications on because if you didn't then you would have missed the video you know what i'm saying it's just like i'm trying to like guide you in the right way right path so you can follow my advice or you cannot follow my advice everything is your choice you can also follow me on all of my social media such as instagram snapchat and twitter i will put my snapchat snap code right here um again i'm gonna say this in every video if you don't want to use snapchat no more it's okay don't add me but if you still use snapchat and you're trying to figure out a way to make it work then please by all means screenshot and add me i will also have all the links to my other social media in the description box below so you guys can really really easily access my social media and just find me because i know it's easier to find people when you have a link sometimes it's just a little tricky you don't exactly know the names so i put the link so you can follow me there you can follow me there and if you recreate this look tag me on instagram twitter and send me pictures videos of your looks on snapchat Again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, 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 truly appreciate it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.